Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it is time to do another weekly winter preview. We're doing this every week during the month of November and this is episode two. So now in episode one, it was all about the cozy sweaters. Like that's all I wanted. Please God, like give me something warm to wear. And out of that bunch, I only kept one. And this is actually the one I kept, which thank God <laughs> I have this cozy sucker to put on because today it is so cold here in Pittsburgh. Like this is the first wintry day we've had. And not only is it snowing outside, but the snow is blowing like, it's like a horizontal drift. It is insane. So much so that of course, like today is the day I scheduled to have my grocery pickup. And so this morning I got ready, you know, curl my hair, looking all cute, go outside to brush off my car. And like, by the time I'm done, I have just been slapped around by the wind so badly that I look like I've been dragged through the dirt. If you live in a cold weather climate, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, if you're new here to my channel, I am a senior stylist for Stitch Fix. I also style my own fixes. Thank you guys so much for the feedback you left on the last video. So on the heels of rolling out of the month of October where I did a weekly fall fix, I had said like, okay, well now October's over. Like, what do you guys want me to do for November? Would you be interested in a weekly winter preview? And everyone was so amazingly supportive of that idea. Like your comments were cracking me up. I absolutely adore them. So thank you and be sure to subscribe and stay tuned because we're gonna be doing this, like I said, every week during the month of November. So now for this episode, the reason why this box is so expensive is because I did throw in like a bunch of cozy sweaters again, all about it, but I also wanted to give you guys a holiday preview. Like I can't even believe we're saying the H word at this point in time, but they are bearing down upon us. So I wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek of some holiday inspired options that are coming into our inventory that I thought would be great for Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. And these are also things that you'll be able to incorporate into your wardrobe like down the line so you can just wear them over and over again. So same as last week, this week she's a big one. Uh, good Lord Almighty, this is a massive box and we are going to tear into it. Um, and of course, as always, I forgot my scissors, so I'll be right back. <laughs> Like literally one time when I sit down to film, I will actually remember to have my scissors handy. Uh, let's keep praying. <laughs> down below, I have a referral code that you can use to sign up for Stitch Fix. If you use it, you'll get a $25 discount off your first fix. The company will also give me a $25 credit to use on one of my own fixes. And of course, if you're already signed up for fix, Stitch a Fix, that means you already have your own unique referral code. Make sure you log onto your profile, get onto your app and grab it and hand everybody and their mother that code. And don't forget too that we are not only women's, but we are also men's and kids. So there's not anybody that couldn't use that code of yours. <laughs> All right, so it's a double bundle again, just like last time. And as always, thank you so much to everybody in our warehouse who does an amazing job of putting these bundles together just so I can tear the hell out of them when I open them up. <laughs> and you guys are gonna have to bear with me because some of the stuff is going to be like on repeat, mainly because I'm OCD about adding specific things to my winter wardrobe and some things I tried before that didn't work out. I saw like something similar to include in this box. Like, do you guys get that way? Like once you get in your head an idea of an outfit, it is like no rest for the weary until you find it. That's how I am. Probably a sign that I need like a 12 step program at this point, but <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Okay, oh my gosh, I'm already falling in love. So in the last video, I tried on that gorgeous green poncho. I decided I didn't want to go with it. But since then, I've wanted to add an olive green sweater to my collection to wear with black jeans. So I saw this textured pullover come into our inventory. It is what I'm hoping is going to be a turtleneck and not a cowl because we all know how I tend to fare with the cow necks. Um, but it looks promising simply because it is a thicker cow or turtleneck, which I tend to love. And of course, it does have the ribbed sleeves. Now, something I'm not crazy about at all is the fact that it does have, where are they? It has thumb holes. I hate thumb holes in garments just because I feel like it gets them sloppy. Where is it? 
Can you see that? There he is, right there. Um, not a big fan of those, but what I'm hoping is that I can just roll the cuff back and then I won't have to deal <laughs> with, the with the thumb hole. So here's to hoping that'll actually work. This next one's also going to be a repeat. The other outfit I'm obsessed with having in my collection is black leggings, black like turtleneck poncho slash pullover, and I've yet to find the pullover. So I saw this one again, um, kind of similar to the last one I tried on. It is, oh, nice. So it's not a fold down cowl. It's actually like a standing cowl, if that makes sense. You'll be able to see when I try it on. It does have the ribbing on the end of the sleeve, which again, I like that's gonna keep me nice and tucked in and like secure when I'm getting those updrafts when I'm standing outside and the wind is blowing like crazy. It is ribbed horizontally and then it also is longer. It's a tunic length, so it does have the ribbing at the bottom and it also will cover me when I wear it with leggings. Oh my gosh, this next one, super interesting sweater, mainly because it has like three trends going on all at once. So I saw this pop into our inventory and I was really intrigued by it, mainly because it has a balloon sleeve. Now the balloon sleeve is like the thing this season, we're seeing it everywhere, um, but it also has texture. That's another thing we're seeing a lot of like texture detailing, this is what I'd call like a popcorn type texture on the sleeves and also the bodice. See how the design kind of makes that V down the center of the sweater? Because of that and then because of the higher neck, it gives the illusion of like a Victorian high neck, which is another trend we are seeing. So again, between the Victorian high neck the texture and also the balloon sleeve, it was like, what is up with this sweater? I really wanted to try it on. Okay, so now the fun stuff. So again, in curating this fix for myself, I wanted to include a couple items that I thought would work great for the holidays, which are fast approaching. And the color of this dress knocked <laughs> me cold. I about died. I don't know what happened, but like over the past couple months, I've been totally drawn to shades of plums and purples. So I picked up this lace detail dress. Like how gorgeous is that? So you have the lace detailing that comes across the collarbone and the shoulders, and then it is lined, which starts right at the bodice. Now that lace goes all the way down to the skirt, which is like a minimal fit and flare, kind of borderline A-line. And then it does have this gorgeous, like look at that, oh my gosh, that lace detailing is just stunning. And then it does have the cutout detailing in the back, which I always think is super subtly sexy. It like shows off just enough to keep things interesting without like <laughs> going totally overboard. You know what I mean? But again, in picking this out, I just thought this is a great option because not only can you wear it for holiday, but you could totally incorporate this into your existing wardrobe and wear it again and again and again. Oh my gosh, and then this little number literally just kind of like jumped onto my radar. This is a knit jumpsuit but it also has a lace back. And what I thought was interesting was it's from our Gal Meets Glam collection, which is an exclusive collaboration we did with fashion blogger, Julia Engel. This is one of her pieces. Then in the back, you have this gorgeous bow. And then again, with the lace detailing that stops right at the waist. And of course, it's just a normal jumpsuit. But hopefully it's not too terribly long because I can't wait to try this on. But between the color, like how perfect is this color for the holiday season? And just as an option, if you're not a dress person or if you just want something different to add to your collection that you can wear for special occasions, this was like, I had to get my hands on it. <laughs> All right, trying on that olive green sweater first. Oh my lord, I fell in love with this thing. It has the perfect 
weight to it so it's very cozy and warm but because it is a heavier fabric it doesn't feel like you're wearing a burlap sack just wears really nicely and of course i love it with a french tuck in fact i tried it on first just like laying flat and i was like this sweater seems kind of underwhelming i'm telling you any sweater you have do a french tuck it like makes a world of difference that cow neck was also behaving really really well and then I was able to roll back the sleeves, that cuff area. So basically I eliminated the thumb hole. Just overall, I love the look of this sweater. It's so effortless. It just screams for colder weather. I love it with the black jeans and of course the heel to give it a little bit of oomph when you want to go out. So next was that black tunic. Oh my goodness, like just so streamlined very well fitted and extremely slimming. Like even with that horizontal threading, it just looked amazing on. Fit like a glove. <laughs> Sleeves were a really, really good length. I found they were just a tad bit long, but you just kind of like pull them back slightly and then you're good to go. And overall, the fabric was just very warm and comfortable. I wouldn't say it's buttery soft, um, but it definitely was cozy. And then what totally sealed the deal for me was throwing it on with a white wool coat that I own. Oh my gosh, just like the timeless sophistication of this look. Oh my gosh, this white sweater, darling, I loved this thing way more than I was ever expecting to. Like I was kind of having a little crush on it. Now it is a cropped fit, so I threw this sucker on with my 10 inch high rise jeans because I didn't want to show any skin. It did have, of course, the infamous balloon sleeve, and it was just really comfortable. Even the ribbed cuffs fit really, really nice on the arm. This just is overall like such a different look. It's so unique. It's just a really fun piece. All right, next is that lace dress. The lace overlay was absolutely stunning. Like the detailing on this is amazing. And I love how it's got that sheer element right around the collarbone and also those darling little cap sleeves. And of course it has the lining that goes from the bodice all the way down to the skirt. The cutout in the back is definitely like the showstopper. I think it just adds a gorgeous touch to this dress. What made this dress even better is I was just wearing a regular nude bra. You could not see the straps in the bodice. And then even in the back, the back strap did not show through that cutout. This is the type of dress you can whip out like over the next 10 years and you're always gonna be in style. And then finally the jumpsuit. Oh my gosh, my little heart was like pounding in my chest. I loved this thing. The fit was absolute perfection. And I love how it had the banded waist just to give it a little bit of definition around the midsection. That lace back is just so lovely. Oh my gosh. It just completes this outfit. And of course, I love the tie at the neck as well. This is just so much fun. You could wear this for Christmas, New Year's Eve, date night, wedding receptions, bachelorette parties. Like the possibilities for something like this are absolutely endless. Okay, can we just talk about the fact that that was probably the most deadly box I've ever styled for myself. I wanted to justify keeping every single item in there. I totally controlled myself though. I went with the black tunic and also the olive sweater just because out of all five pieces, which I adored, those were the two I felt like I would get the most realistic <laughs> ongoing use out of. But in any event, I did schedule another fix for next week, so be sure to subscribe and stay tuned because we're gonna be doing another winter preview. And I'm gonna try as much as humanly possible to grab as many pieces that are like holiday-esque because I wanna show you guys like everything we have coming in for the holiday season to give you as many options as possible. But in any event, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a good one and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.